It is raining, it is Ireland after all, so this filming thing will have to wait until we get in Lidl because I don't know how waterproof this this little thing is from Tyler, so we don't want to mess it up. I never know how to film these things when I'm somewhere indoors. Hope this will be good. Yeah, I have a full basket, I'll show you later, of veggies. I actually res resorted to calling my grandma because I wasn't sure about the recipe for chicken soup. Uh, one thing I did forget, as I keep forgetting for the last five years, that it is you cannot buy alcohol before half ten. So no beer yet, but we're gonna have to do that a little bit later. For anyone curious, 1736. You can see everything here, so if you wanna go into details, just pause the video and check it out. Okay, folks. So what I'm making today is, uh, I would call it a probably traditional Croatian chicken soup. It's the same soup my grandma makes every Sunday, basically, when we go to lunch there. Bunch of vegetables, which I'm just gonna put out here now and then we're gonna go sort out the living room slash dining room area because that needs attention first. After that we're gonna start cutting and cooking. Now the situation here needs a little bit explaining. Now why do we have all this, not all this, like this artificial wall or whatever you wanna call it? Well it's because we don't have our own living room except if we do this. Now when we have guests of course all of that goes uh, away and that's what we were doing now. I need to put that away, I need to sort all of this out, we need, I need to vacuum and basically just sort this whole room out so it looks like it's ready for guests because they are dear friends of mine and I want all of this to look as best as it's good. So I'm gonna speed all of this up, make up, I think it's called time lapse of me doing all kinds of shit. Out. And that would more or less be it. I mean, I think it looks nicer. You can tell me what you think, of course, in the comment section, but I think it's much more, much more, much more, yeah, spacious now because we have all of that space now because I do have kids and there are gonna be four people more here than usual. I like this better when we have guests. Now, on to the cooking. Now, I always loved cooking, as some of you probably no, but I don't know, I just never got no. to filming it because I think there's plenty of cooking channels in on internet and I just don't think people would like that. Plus, I'm not really that good of a cook, I just do it as a hobby, hobby because I just like it. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut all of these veggies, put all of them in the into the one huge pot, pot just saute some onions first and then just fill it with water I'll leave it to boil for an hour and a half probably until the chicken is done add some seasoning and this should be it but yeah i'm gonna of course speed all of this up for you and make some kind of maybe slow-mo b-roll of simmering and shit like that before we get onto the main meal which will be potato and chicken roast with uh, soy sauce and some other spices which i find good together so Funny thing is, folks, I never used the train in Ireland, actually. I just not, not noticed, but just realized that because it's just, well, it's cheaper to, to use a bus if you're going to Dublin. But yeah, this is my first time welcoming someone in Galway with train. Hello. A couple of days into it guys and we're surviving. We have our guests and I think they're having a super awesome time. Well, I'm hoping they're having a super awesome time. Um, yeah, the house has been very action packed. There's been a lot going on, a lot of stickers everywhere <laughs> and loads of plastic eggs. Nearly slipped and died on one of them the other morning, but that was all part of the charm. So uh, yeah, we are all washed and clothed kind of. <laughs> and we're going to go to town and we're going to get a few bits needed for a barbecue today because we are going to fire up the grill and we're going to have a few visitors over to our place and yeah we'll hang out a bit that's exactly what our little house needs more people <laughs> so we have to go and get some toilet roll because we've nothing to wipe the arses with let's go <laughs> Woo! I find it so interesting how uh, the buggy or a pram or whatever you call it has so much power. When you see a mom bringing it on a bus or a dad bringing it on a bus, everyone just scatters out of the way and like, 
plenty of choice of seats. Love that. Totally want to get one of these, put a fake baby in it so I can get a good seat in the bus. I'll have to, well, I can't put a real baby in it <laughs> unless someone's willing to give us one. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just want to feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So try not to hold me down. We did have one major hiccup, which is also the reason why we didn't film two days. It, it was supposed to be a week in a live video, but it will be like more of a few days in a live video now. But yeah, one of our guest friends, she got actually really sick. She had a major pain in, in her ear, which is never a good sign. So we were forced to find a doctor or go to A&E. And it turns out going to A&E in Ireland is not the smartest thing you can do when you get sick while visiting here but i'll let her explain why unless your eyeball is hanging out or you're actually dying there is like no point in going up to a and e especially in galway city our hospital is jammed to the rafters with uh with the sick and weary but yeah so if you ever come here on holidays and you have a minor incident whether it's an earache or a sore throat or something go to the pharmacist they're very knowledgeable they're very helpful actually the pharmacist and we also have lots of walk-in gps you don't need to have any sort of appointment or you don't have to be registered with them. You can literally just call them, text them and uh, make an appointment and they will tell you when to come. Uh, yeah, because we'll get to the prices. What you, yeah, what you do need to have is money because you pay for it. So we went to a walk-in clinic basically that I found online. But yeah, anywho, it was 50 euros for a consultation, I guess. And then it was uh, 17 more on top of that for antibiotics that she got, but yeah. There you go. Better Hope. than paying a big hospital bill. <laughs> yeah. If you go to A&E, yes, you'll we'll get the bill for your whatever it is you get done there, which is pointless. It's better just to go to a pharmacist first. They might be able to help you with something over the counter and you won't actually have to pay a GP price. But yeah, if it's something more, you go to your GP. Exactly. And we're off to the market now because my friend who is... Somewhere. I don't know where actually. We have his baby, but he's gone with the other. Yeah, we have his baby. The quiet, the quietest one. <laughs> he needs to try oysters at the market, and then after that, we are gonna go barbecuing, which I will be filming some days actually, turning that a little bit to a cooking show, I guess, because I filmed me myself cooking the day before yesterday. So, can I give a shout out to parents that actually, like, parenting is very difficult, very, very challenging. Um, we're not used to having children in the house at all, so this is the first time we've had kids. And it's very, very tough. So I just want to say well done any mom and dads out there that are able to do this. Because this in itself is a full time, over full time, our job. Very, very difficult. So cheers to you guys. <laughs> well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> he says it reminds him of tequila, which I guess it's because of the lemon thing. She hates those. She thinks they're disgusting. So comment section, come on, you tell me, do you like oysters or not? And do you like, like raw things in general? Because she says I eat raw meat to eat anything. Brains, anything. Put a bit of Tabasco sauce on it, a bit of ivory on the side, and the brain would be delicious. <laughs> Well, oysters are a success and we had a crap, sweet and savory one with cheese and things and we are going to try a seafood chowder now. So we are basically doing a food tour of Galway, which I never did. So yeah, maybe you should tell me if you want to see something like that. We can do that, I guess. I can eat until I throw up for video. I will sacrifice myself to that's our little company these days. But anywho, onwards. Barbecuing is definitely not on the top of our to-do list here in Ireland because obviously we don't really have the weather for it. Well, we have some really lovely days during the summertime and we do risk it and we do pull out the old barbecue but they wouldn't be as popular as they are in Croatia. Uh, Croatia also does barbecue a little bit different in their cooking styles. They have an open fire, they have this thing called a pika, a peka. So yeah, it's actually very interesting. Maybe Jakob will be able to explain that better or maybe not, depending. <laughs> But so we are going to make some sausage and we're going to get some chicken. The guys are going to do a bit of marinating and then we're going to fill on that to show all of you guys. I have a lot of conversations going on in my head and half of the stuff doesn't actually be verbalized. I just think I, I said it. So far so good guys. It's not raining. It's still sunny. It feels like it's Croatia. At the moment it's 26. Is it in Croatia? I didn't realize that these aubergines are really nice on a barbecue. So that's another Croatian thing I learned. They're very nice. 
to barbecue, but my cutting skills for someone that works in a restaurant isn't great. <laughs> So time management. Benson, if you were watching this, you are an Irish person through and through. You were never on time, sir, but we still love you. So yeah, we'll, you were supposed to be here at three, it's half three now, so we'll see you in five to 10 business days. He's wearing shoes that were around in World War II. <laughs> I, I, I just don't see any point in wearing anything fancy when you're doing stuff like this. I mean, what's wrong with this? Shame then? shoes, throw them in the bin. I'll throw them in the bin when he's not looking. There's holes all over. Oh, the flames. <laughs> now we just want to say uh, goodbye in... And, uh, is Ask Elga? Ask Elga. Ask Elga. Slong fall. Can you explain what's happening? <laughs> oh, sorry. So this is our lovely guest. This is our neighbour, Becca. We love her. She's part of the family now. Put down the beer. She's not an alcoholic. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, this is going well. And uh, yeah, so she she wants to say goodbye in Irish because every time I speak Irish, I feel like an idiot. So mm. we have uh, this lady here that was born and raised in the countryside, so she knows it better than any of us. So yeah, we'll say goodbye again and then you can go. <laughs> Slong <Slang> for <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye now. Bye. Thank you. Uh, don't talk about skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about skeletons. Nothing about skeletons. So our guest Helena is feeling a lot better today. She has a little bit of a cold sore going on, but that's okay. It's kind of part and parcel with everything else that's going on. But she's feeling a lot better today. So uh, maybe the sun helped, I don't know. Or maybe it's our good cooking, it's hard to tell. But uh, yeah, well, I'm going to put you over to himself and he's going to talk a little bit to you about visas. And I got lovely new glasses today, so yeah. Any of all you people out there that's making fun of my old grandma glasses, we're now stylish and young again. So I don't want to hear one negative comment about my glasses. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's all don't I leave. Say about that. uh, the thing <laughs> I wanted to talk, talk about is uh, we had our guest here. You're called? Bit. She's called. <laughs> and who, uh, visa process for uh, for persons who don't have EU passport is apparently just a pile of horseshit. Oh. I'll give you an example. So our friends from India uh, are supposed to come with us to Croatia this summer. They were there already three times and usually what they had to do is just a call to the Croatian embassy, mm -hmm. go there and have an, have an interview and just get their visa. Not anymore. Apparently the whole Schengen zone, so all the countries of Schengen, have outsourced their visa process to a private company, which now has no <laughs> time I have I guess for anyone so the first appointment they are able to get now is July and you can't even apply for it because the the applications will be open in June so, so nobody knows what to do now and it's not just Croatia they tried it actually Netherlands Belgium Czech Republic all of those countries and it's all the same so it's basically very impossible to go out of Ireland into Europe now unless you have EU passport She's not a Schengen list, it's a shit list. Yeah, plus some countries already started, <laughs> Netherlands for example, started charging 40 euros, I think he said, just to put you on a waiting list, not to give you an appointment. Oh. So if anyone has any experience with that and thinks he, yeah, can, he or she can help us how to get them in Croatia this summer, yeah. I don't know what to do because this is just bullshit. That's crazy, like we obviously didn't think that out very well. Especially for summertime, it's like season. Everyone's going to be traveling and going to see like our beautiful Europe. But yeah, I didn't actually realize that until now. So we're both surprised, you and me guys, with that information. <laughs> Clearly shows how much I was listening today. <laughs> Easter is tomorrow. So happy Easter to everyone who celebrates Easter. Totally going to mass in the morning at half 10. Bunnies, painting eggs, Chocolate. all of that stuff, hams. The man upstairs, the Holy Spirit dude. <laughs> They're gonna come for you for four days. Well, not everyone. I'm sure half and half. We'll we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> everyone on the on the, the yeah the dark side and the light. Side. <laughs> yeah, this was a bit of a mess to be honest. A video. Sure, it started as a week in life video. It ended up as a just two days in life video because we just didn't have time. But if you like this, press the like button. If you didn't press the dislike one, if you loved it, press the subscribe button. And don't forget about the Patreon. And since. We didn't actually get to make a video like we had planned this week because it is very difficult when you have guests and children and the weather is against you. So 
you're, you're lucky to have this one, really. <laughs> okay. We, we have the same clothes on for the last two days. <laughs> I actually didn't shower two days. <laughs> Stop. Don't be telling the people this. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next week when, when the guests are gone. We, <laughs> we don't need uh, van life anymore. We need fresh clothes. So that's Sign fresh, off. And fresh bodies. Guys, Can see you we? in the next one. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Happy Easter. <laughs>